U.S. election prediction 2024, who's going to win, Kamala Harris or Donald J. Trump, who will be the 47th president of the United States of America? So the road to 270. Yeah, so let's listen in and I'll give you guys my prediction for this one. It's by now. Um, the seven key states. Let's get interactive here if we can. And Chris, really for VP Harris. All right, there we go. Great. Thanks. 93 toss up. 226 for her. She really has to run or at least gain most of the Midwest. As I flip across here and make those three Midwest states blue, ah, you see how all of a sudden we get to 270. Yeah, and the, the math is simpler for Democrats. They just have to win their states. If right. Democrats win their states, they win the presidency. Hmm. It's harder for Republicans because they have to flip one. They've got to take one of those blue states, right. traditionally blue states, and turn it red. Mm -hmm. uh, Kamala Harris can win without winning North Carolina. She can win without winning Georgia if she just keeps her up. Right. All right, so let's talk about South Carolina and Georgia. I'm going to flip this back here for a second. So North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina, sorry. Thank you. Maybe Ann yeah, yeah. has another poll. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. Here, let me go, uh, let me go <laughs> down south, um, Scott, and talk to me about... North Carolina and Georgia for a second, because now as we get back to the seven key, DDHQ, you have numbers that if Donald Trump wins both of North Carolina and South Carolina, so let me flip it red now. All right, he gets to 251. You say there's like a 55% chance of that happening? Yep. And then that gives him basically like an 85% chance of winning the presidency. Correct, because all he's got to do is win Pennsylvania or a combination of Michigan and Wisconsin and Arizona and Nevada. One of those two are the remaining four. In poker, we call it he's just got more outs. But huh. he's got to win Georgia, which he did not win last time, and he's right. got to win North Carolina, which Harris has been campaigning a lot the last three days. So wh what I found fascinating, if he wins one, you basically gave him a 22% a chance of him winning either one of North Carolina or Georgia, a 19% chance of him winning none, so there's some correlation there, I guess you could say, right? Definite correlation. The other thing that's not in there, if those states split North Carolina and Georgia, expect okay. a long week because all of a sudden so one of the candidates... Let's do that for a second. Yeah. So maybe just flip North Carolina blue for yep. argument's sake. Okay, then we get to this scenario. Yep, and then where Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, those could flip. Even if they all go one way, it's over for, for Donald Trump. Harris could win. But if those split, then all of a sudden Arizona and Nevada come into play. There's some scenarios where Arizona comes into play. All right, so I'm back at neutral, Starwalt. What are you looking for uh, tomorrow night? So it's been weird, mm -hmm. uh, which is Kamala Harris has not been able to put away her states, right? Which, Midwest, the yeah, Midwest. The upper Midwest. Yep. Those are her states. Those, those are the Democratic states in the upper Midwest. She's not been, been able to put it away. Tied, tied, she gets a little lead, but it's like this. And right, then right. another poll comes out and puts it the other way. So those have been real janky, as they would say. Mm -hmm. in yeah, so if she doesn't pull out, put it her states, then this ga game over for her. Minnesota okay. uh, for Kamala Harris. So you say, oh, then Donald Trump's going to win. But he can't put it away in North Carolina and Georgia. He's got Arizona, it looks like. He's pretty consistently okay. uh, been putting up decent numbers I'll in throw, Arizona. I'll put that red there. Sure. Nevada. I love you, Nevada, but you don't poll right, right? You don't, <laughs> it just, it never, it, it's, you're, you're frustrating. Uh, but that's, Michigan and Nevada are the most Democratic of the swing states mm -hmm. traditionally. Kamala Harris has not been able to seal the deal in the upper Midwest where she's supposed to. Trump can't seal the deal in the Southeast where he's supposed to. And so we find ourselves with a race that looks deadlock. All right. So let me let me take Michigan. So you basically Arizona looks red. Let me you, you just said Michigan is, uh, you know, leans Democratic. Nevada right. leans Democratic. All right. Here we are. Whoa. Look at where we are now. Um, 247, 230. And that's why one of the reasons why. This guy right here, that's right. PA, comes into play, Trainer. Exactly. That is the key Keystone State, right? right. That's the one that's going to take it all the way there. That's also, polling-wise, that's the closest state. What else is interesting there, the gender gap that we've been talking yeah. about for a while, that's 10 points for Harris. That is the smallest gender gap she has in the upper Midwest. In Michigan and Wisconsin, it's more. So that's why it's so close there. Um, and you guys still have it. Basically, if you win Pennsylvania, it's like 85% chance. 86% chance. 86. Moved up a point. You, you there? Yeah, and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania right now look like the tipping point states. They're, okay. in, they're in the middle of the pack of the partisanship of the seven states, right? Of the seven states, they're three and four, four and three, depending on what you're averaging in. So they are the middle of the middle of the middle of how our states vote. And basically, Donald Trump wins either of those states, 
I suspect he will be returned to the White House. On the other hand, okay. on the other hand, <laughs> black voters are making this very challenging. There's two groups of low propensity voters that we're talking about here. We're talking about working class black voters, right. and we're talking about young men who typically right. don't vote. Donald Trump believes that he and Elon Musk can turbocharge the uh, Call of Duty community to <laughs> come out and do it and do all that stuff. Kamala Harris believes that uh, African American voters particularly in North Carolina and Georgia, right. can do it. But guess what? If you're a low propensity voter, you're also hard to poll. So we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there'll be, we'll see any traditional voters uh, for a Democrat. I don't think that, I think they're going to lose a lot of their voters, uh, especially Mich Michigan. Mich Mich Michigan is not going to go to Democrats this time. And black voter will show up in polls, but it's not going to be the same as Joe Biden. They're going to be less than Joe Biden. And that's going to be a problem for Kamala Harris. She's not going to win. So my prediction for U.S. election 2024 is the next 47 president of the United States is going to be Donald J. Trump with at least 280 electoral college. Okay, so that's my prediction. I don't know what you guys think. See ya. We'll see you next tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow will be the, the 6th of November. It'll be the 5th in America. So hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, we'll be able to know who's going to be the 47th president of the United States of America. I think it's going to be Donald J. Trump. And I think uh, the Democrats have... Uh, have actually suppressed a lot of their voters throughout the years with a lot of issues around immigration, a lot of issues around their international policies. So they're likely to have, have suppressed their own voters through their own policy. So we're not going to see a traditional uh, voting um, that we normally see in terms of having more black voters for Democrats, so about 10 out to around 90 or so, sort of, you're going to see a little a split. In fact, I suspect Donald Trump would be probably the first president, the Republican president, who will actually win more black voters than any other president in in the history of America. So that is what I suspect will happen. And I suspect Harris is not going to be able to carry Michigan. Michigan is, is not going to be uh, going for her. So for Donald Trump is on the path to be the 47th president of the United States. And I think he will sort of make it up above 270, around 280, 281 roughly around there i think so and yes but we'll see you then tomorrow see if i'm wrong or not but been watching this for a little while and i yeah i think i don't think uh the democrats are going to be back in the white house all right thank you guys this is just prediction prediction i could be wrong obviously i'm basing this prediction based on what i've been looking at the poll Average polls and what people been saying, obviously, but what people say online is not what they would do when they get to the poll, but the sentiment around this, it's very divisive. And a lot of voter, traditional democratic voters are split, are split. When you have your traditional, like they say, she hasn't been able to put away her voters. The, the Democrats haven't been able to, uh, to actually put away their own states that it would normally win so if you haven't been able to close your your states and you still you're likely to lose one of your states their core base then that's a problem there already that's a problem but also with uh, as they said here with uh donald trump as well he's also struggling in the core base is for him as well so we will see how this is going to play out. Uh, we suspect that, I suspect that this is going to be to the wires. Obviously, he's still going to have to get to 270 Electoral College. Trump is going to make it to two and at least around 280, 280 above 280 of his Electoral College. Um, yeah. 
and in yeah Arizona he's gonna win Arizona and he's been a hate for a while for Arizona so I don't know why they make it so white there in that screen because it's the poll been showing that he's really a hate in that so it really shouldn't be white obviously but we'll see how it goes and at tomorrow finally will he will this is will be over oh my god finally everything will be over all right thank you guys have a lovely day bye